Welcome to the March 2024 construction update of the Gordie Howe Bridge. The 2023-2024 winter weather has been better than expected, allowing the progress to move steadily forward on all fronts of this magnificent international border project. Crossing the Detroit River between Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan. Completion of the Gordie Howe Bridge is expected in the fall of 2025, barring any unexpected delays. This month, I thought a review of the specifications of the project might help refresh our insight into the components that make up the bridge, the road deck, plaza, and linkage to the Herb Gray Parkway and the 401 in Canada. Please like and subscribe, as it really helps the channel. I thank you in advance for your support. Let's get started. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is designed as a cable-stayed bridge featuring six lanes, three towards Canada and three toward the United States. It will also have a 12-foot wide multi-use path to accommodate pedestrians and cyclists and forms part of the Trans-Canada Trail System. The length of the bridge is approximately 2.5 kilometers or 1.5 miles. The width of the bridge deck is 37.5 meters or 123 feet wide. With a clear span of 853 meters or half a mile, it holds the record for the longest main span of any cable stayed bridge in North America. There are no piers in the water. The unique structural engineering eliminates supports within the riverbed. Two separate approach bridges or road decks link the central section to the respective custom plazas in Canada and the USA. The ports of entry are large sites dedicated to efficient vehicle inspections and controls, allowing room for technological advancements and expansion capabilities. The Canadian port of entry size is 53 hectares or 130 acres, and the U.S. port of entry is 68 hectares or 167 acres. Local road improvements on both sides include several new road and pedestrian bridges, widening existing routes, and constructing necessary ramp systems. The aesthetic consideration emphasizes elegance and functionality while respecting environmental factors and local culture. Modern materials such as glass facades, precast concrete panels, and lighting enhancements contribute to the overall appearance of the complex. Additionally, landscaping plays a significant role in integrating the various parts into a visually harmonious whole. This ambitious project employs a private partnership private-public partnership model involving entities like the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority and their selected partner, Bridging North America, consisting primarily of Floor Canada Limited, Dragados Canada Inc., and Aceron Infrastructure Management Inc. Let's explore how cable stay bridges like the Gordie Howe International Bridge are constructed. The bridge deck and the road deck will have a total of 106 segments, each made up of two edge girders, nine redundancy girders, three floor beams, 12 precast panels, 12 soffit panels, and two stay cables. The bridge deck is supported by cables that are attached to the tower and anchored to the ground. 
The cables are made of high strength steel and are tensioned to support the weight of the bridge deck. The stay cables carry the deck and transfer all bridge loads to the foundations. The process for hanging the cables on the cable stayed bridge, like the Gordie Howe International Bridge, involves several steps. The usual method for the construction of cable stayed bridges is to erect the girders in the side span first. A temporary cable, including a suspension cable, a hanger, and an anchorage cable is installed to support the girder for the upper structure of the bridge. The stay cable is pre-installed using a suspension bridge type temporary cable in constructing a cable stayed bridge. A segment in the form of a big block is manufactured and installed on the stay cable. The segments are connected to one another to form a girder. The temporary cable is removed, thereby completing the installation of the stay cable. The cables carry the bridge deck from one or both sides of the supporting tower, and the stay cables carry the deck and transfer all bridge loads to the foundations. The cables are firmly attached to the anchorages which are designed to resist buckling forces of the loads. Detailing of all anchorages should allow for their safe construction and accessibility for inspection and maintenance on completion. It is important to note that the Gordie Howe International Bridge is being constructed using precast, pre-stressed concrete segmental construction. According to the search results, the bridge deck is expected to meet between Canada and the USA in 2024. The bridge deck is built outward towards the center of the river, one segment at a time, using a crane on the deck, eventually meeting in the middle. We can see substantial work has been completed on the road deck since the last update. The plaza buildings and groundwork from the road deck to the entrance highway 401 have progressed nicely. Originally scheduled to be completed in 2024, the Gordie Howe International Bridge project has faced some delays, which has pushed back the operating of the bridge until fall of 2025. There you have it. The bridge is moving forward at an impressive pace on both sides of the river. As the bridge deck progresses towards the middle in the months ahead, anticipation mounts for this meeting of the Canadian and American sides of the Gordie Howe Bridge. Don't miss it. 
Stay tuned for more updates on the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to follow us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. This is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.